just trying to figure out how to hide your chat so I can see this bigger. Are we live? I think so. It's loading, yep. it says, so yeah. It so. says it says we're live. No, it's just All right. can everyone hear us and Yeah. I'm not getting any game sound, but I might have just turned the volume down. I don't remember. It it does take a few minutes to, uh, a few minutes, it takes a few seconds for people to catch up to, because there's that ad at the first, right. I think, unless you're like a premium Twitch person, I, maybe. Oh, we should be for all the, <laughs> what does that cost? I don't know. Is that a thing? I don't even know. I'm sure it's worth it. it. <laughs> Alright, I will uh, introduce us then. Um, hi everyone, this is Brad from Board Game Geek, I'm here with Dave from Board Game Geek, and we are, tonight are playing Darkest Dungeon. Uh, is that coming off of yours, or? Oh, hi everyone. I'm getting the sound from the ad and everything through my, that's all I can hear, so. I don't know if that's coming through your. My stream is not on. Is your stream on? It was, but it's muted, so who knows? Oh, I have no idea. And the, it may override the mute. The oh, the ad does? That's great. Potentially, potentially I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we are going to play this uh, kind of roguelike, I guess you could say. I love to overuse that word, so. It's, definitely. yeah, it's a roguelike. Uh, I, well, kind of. Because you don't have to start over from scratch if you lose, but you just lose all your people, which is painful. Ah, okay. It's kind of like XCOM. It's like XCOM okay. mixed with FTL. <laughs> <laughs> so. And you know, I've heard a lot of people say that they're uh, like this is better than FTL or or something like that. I just have to point out that we've all played so many hours of FTL that it's hard to say like. Hey, suddenly this is way better. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Like, yeah. Like you put hours and hours into that game. Like, I think <laughs> like it's um, it's shinier, and the fun part right now is I don't know what to expect or where it's going or how much there is, or so it's right. kind of neat to be like, wow, look at all this new stuff. But yeah, as far as comparing it to FTL, that's a pretty high bar to set. So I don't know that we want to go there. <laughs> and this is also this is a. Uh, I don't even know if this is like a full beta. I mean, from what I've, it sounds like the developer is saying is this is a really early version of the game, although it is very polished. But um, you know, this is not a finished product either. So who knows right. what it'll look like in you know five six months when it actually releases for real? So right. Um, yeah, and just so everyone knows, I'm about to post this in the chat, but uh, we are streaming from. Dave's machine today, so if there's any uh, first time, I guess we've, been, <laughs> we've done it live. So it if is, there's yeah. any issues or anything, let us let us know. Cause Blame it, Brad, because he helped me set this up, so it's obviously Brad's right. fault if something goes that's wrong. That's right. And those of you contemplating Twitch streaming, it is not as easy as it maybe sounds. <laughs> it's you know I don't think it's as bad. It's this whole Skype thing that's screwing us up. So that's true. If you were yeah. just like by yourself. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's merging that like, makes it a little difficult. So, um, what do you think? Should we... Um, yeah, let's jump in. I, I have a cough, by the way, people, so I apologize ahead of time. I'm going to try to not cough into the mic, but I, it's going to happen at some point. So, uh, like right now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Alright, so we'll jump in. We'll start a new campaign. Uh, just so you guys can see kind of how this all rolls. That was me tweeting. <laughs> and there's a, a lengthy... Slow. You will arrive along the old oh, road. sorry. Brad's volume is low. Well, guess what, Brad? Talk louder. <laughs> Talk louder? What about now? Am I better? You sound good to me, so... I have your volume up as high as it'll go on here, so... In Skype, so. Well, I will just put my mic close to my mouth, and hopefully I'll get louder. 
uh, on a different mic than I was last night, too, so it might be a little different. So this, um, this is a rather lengthy intro movie, which I'm going to uh, drop hey, out of. I, I, I hope playing. you don't. I hope you guys don't mind <laughs> that I skip that, but... Um, <laughs> that exact same scene is what I, where I skipped. <laughs> It's Never pretty neat, and you get to meet the narrator. There's a narrator of this game who's a little over the top, but he's, I mean, well, you'll hear him. He's hes something. So this is how, this is the tutorial. So it starts you out, basically, your family is in ruins. The whole town that they were from is in ruins because they uncovered some eldritch caverns underneath the, the manor, and all sorts of evilness is down there, and... So he's hiring adventurers to come and help clean it out and and restore the family to their honor. And um, so you start out the game on the highway as two of the adventurers who are trying to get to the house. And this is kind of um, shows you how the game works. Um, down in the corner down here is the mini map, and you'll see it'll show the dungeon. And this is a fairly simple one. It's just two rooms with a hallway between them. And right now I'm in a room, so can't do a whole lot. So what you do is you click on the next room, and then basically the whole game takes place on the hallways between the rooms. So, the hamlet is just ahead. So, so rooms are mostly safe, right? Kind of well, mostly. There you will get attacked in there, but the, and you will find that's where you're going to find your bigger treasures and your bigger combats and stuff. But there are also empty rooms or rooms that aren't um, fighting. Um, whereas the hallways like this always have something interesting going on in them. Like here we just got sneak attacked, or I guess we sneak attacked him, because um, he, that little thing on his head means that he's surprised, so we get a free round of combat. And so this is how combat works, it's turn based, and all your powers are here, and you'll see, um, I don't know if you can see that, but each power tells you like where you can use it if you are in... Uh, the oh, yellow dots okay. are, yeah, the yellow dots, because you could have four people in your party, so the yellow dots show you if, like, in the scrape shot, I can only use it if I'm in the second or third position, and then the red dots right. show you who it can affect in the in the bad guy's set. That's why this one's blocked out, because I'm in the second position. Well, actually, I don't know why this pistol shot's blocked out. It should work. Oh, because it doesn't affect the guy in first, so. But anyway, so. Uh, you have some buffs you can do, like the yeah, I can aim, which is just a buff and doesn't do anything. Considering I have a free round, I'll buff myself because he's not going to attack, so I get a buff. And then my knight here will do the same thing, which he'll buff himself and buff his armor up. And then we go to round two. Nice. And now we can do some damage, so my highwayman's going to attack. And that was supposed to bleed. It is. It's very, it's very cool, actually. Yeah, the, the way the game looks is just awesome. As the fiend falls, <laughs> there you go. We wiped him out. Hope blossoms. Maybe we get some loot. I didn't think about doing that. <clears throat> <laughs> but and I just attacked, it, which was a bad choice. Yeah, I found that buffing really, really makes a difference. So, um, and as you go through the hallways, you'll find things like this tent, which is something you can loot. So you click on it and you check inside, and lo and behold, there's Leave treasure in there. So we'll take the treasure. There is much to be found in forgotten When you get to the end of the hallway, there'll be a door. You go through it and you get to the room that you're in. And here's the, the room, which has a big message. baddie. The rightful owner has returned, and they are kind of is no longer welcome. <clears throat> no, I'm not gonna buff. I'm just gonna shoot these guys. I'm try to try to stun and see if I can stun that guy. Yeah, I stunned him. That's nice. <laughs> so does damage carry over from dungeon to dungeon, or do you heal up between? You heal up your damage between dungeons, but what you'll notice is each of your characters has a. <coughs> Excuse me. Each of your characters has a red line by their guy, which is their health, and then there's a white line underneath it with, um, there's like, I think it's ten little rectangles. And that's kind of like your mental, um, your mental health, I guess, or your stress, it's called. This game is kind of a, it's got a, um, Lovecraftian kind of feel to it where your guys will slowly go insane as all this bad stuff is happening to them, and, 
Um, there's cultists you'll meet and stuff later. But So as this stress bar goes up, your guy will get um, effects like paranoia or fear or stuff like that. Or something good could happen too, but I've, that happens very <laughs> rarely. So... Um, so you kind of have the two bars, but the so the stress bar will not go down between unless you do special things to make it go down. Whereas your health is always refreshed when you start a new adventure. So okay. So it kind of has a uh, like legacy a little bit feel, where like you know you have these conditions and some of them are negative and some of them are positive. Some of them are negative. Really? Sometimes in a positive way. That was not good. No, he just critted me and then pushed the, me back. So, and both my guys are bleeding too right now, so they're going to take damage every single turn, which. That's not good. So, and I tried to make him bleed and he wouldn't, so. That's, that's <laughs> he fantastic. He refused to bleed. That's the worst. Yeah. I hate when that um, Let's kill this big guy. Yeah, let's so get rid of the big guy at least. This way, the sharpened blade. And there's an interesting thing too where when your hit points get to zero in this game, your characters don't die. They, they're in a state called On Death's Door, which they might die at some point if they get hit again, but um, but they can keep fighting too. And I don't know what the uh, I don't know <laughs> like what the percentage is of them like when they get hit, like what the percentage is of them dying or living, but and also, I don't so know what any of this means. This is all, this is part of, I guess, you know, it's a beta, so I'm not totally sure. But you do get all these different, your characters have different right. um, traits and stuff, and some are good and some are bad, so. <coughs> and those are apart from the stress ones you get. Welcome these are just home. your, that's Such just the guy you are, so. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands. That's, that's it, that's pretty exciting. They're yours huh? now. And you so, are bound to them. Here's the town. So now that we, we made it to the town, and everything's locked except for the graveyard, which is nice. You can go Most see all your guys that here, are dead, and there, and there will the be a lot of them. Earth, awaiting and you can go oblivion. here and draft new. You can get some new heroes. And men, so here's where you recruit new outlaws, dudes. Fools and so corpses. I'm going to recruit these two guys all that are find their here, way to and us you can also upgrade all your clear. buildings. And you upgrade buildings based on the things you find in the dungeons. You find like deeds and uh, I forget what they're called, but it's all the stuff that your fa that the family is like uh, sigils and all that stuff. And those are what you trade in to upgrade your um, thing. So I'm gonna upgrade my stagecoach network so that more heroes come next turn instead of okay. just two. So now I have these these guys in my group, which is great. All the other buildings after the tutorial are locked, so you can't go into any of these other ones. There's a sanitarium, there's a tavern, an abbey. And um, these are where you'll send your guys to r get rid of that stress level that they have. So you can send some people to the tavern and have them drink it off, or um, <laughs> to the abbey to pray it away, or, you know, whatever. So, um, right. And then guild, when that unlocks, that lets you upgrade your heroes. That gives them more abilities. Um, and uh, blacksmith upgrades their equipment. So, hmm. but the game is constantly saving, so you can't. If your guys die, they're dead. They're gone. You can't re up, you know, load a save. So, is so a trick it really like XCOM. How you can I don't. Or I don't think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that there is. I, at least I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't tried too hard either, but... Um, so, and we got really nothing here, so let's, we'll go to... Uh, I forgot where I, I need to go here. We have to... Oh, to oh, Umbark. So we have to go to Umbark, right? yeah. Omeka and this opens up all the different dungeons ability. you have, and right now we don't have a whole lot. Your we just have begins. one. We can line up all of our guys here, and when you click on a guy... Oops, I don't know what that did. Um, it'll show you like their preferred position in the party and where their targets are, so you can kind of set up your party that way. So this guy likes to be in front, so I'll stick him in front. And um, he likes second, third. He likes towards the back, and she doesn't really seem to care where she is, so we'll put these two guys in the back. And He's kind of a, 
I don't know what he is. He's kind of like an alchemist, I guess, and she's a healer, so. Okay. And we'll go to the store and we'll the buy some. Yep, measured we'll buy now some in food. gold. So Later. we'll load up on some food, which in heals blood. you a little bit. I'll buy a couple shovels. And you need torches, because light is. Um, that might be too many torches, but. Um, <laughs> Light is important. Light is how uh, I don't know. The, it changes the difficulty of the game. So the darker the game gets, the harder it gets. But you'll also get better loot doing it that way. So, but the combat does get very hard when there's no light too. So it's nice to have torches to light up and be able to uh, make things a little easier for you. So. Are you always going to have so much money, or do things get a little more desperate as you go on? Uh, they get a little more desperate. I, I've been finding that I pretty much blow my whole, uh, pretty much everything I earned on that last trip, I'll spend to load up on the <laughs> next one so far. So okay. it's probably not a real good strategy. But, but um, must be driven back. Yeah, and, and up at the top is where it shows him. how bright your torch is. So right now it's fully lit, line. so the beam's all the way across, and that'll slowly go down as we as we move. So, so I have to complete... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry, just in the chat. Uh, someone's asking, does darkness increase stress as well? I believe it does, yes, but I don't know that for sure. Okay. Oh, you can't see the mouse pointer, hey? Is that a thing? Yeah, there's something. Is there something I have to? Is there something I have to do for that, or is that just the way things are? I Having not done this do before, not, I don't. No. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop pointing um, at things with my mouse pointer then. Sorry about that. I didn't realize. <laughs> I thought you'd be able to see that. Um, yeah, you think you would. I'm not sure why it's not showing up. Could be right. a setting in OBS or something, but. Yeah. All right. I will uh, try to describe stuff then. So. Um, down in the lower right is the mini-map, and you can see the room we're in, and there's the whole dungeon. So this dungeon is not super huge either. Um, right. But the whole thing is we have to basically go to every single room and fight every battle in every room, so uh, we might as well go here first and get that one out of the way. So you always have to do everything. Well, it depends. Some of them are... I mean, the missions you get are different. Some of them are, um, like, f it's different. It's not always every single room. You'll get you'll get different okay. things that you have to do. So, and I'm guessing as you get farther in that they'll get even more intricate. Because right now it's basically, right now everything I've seen is basically go in and kill a bunch of monsters. You know, so. Okay. I'm guessing that they get a little more complicated than that, but... Okay, and here's a combat against some undead. But we surprised them, so that's good, so we'll have a chance to... So, I'm gonna have him aim. And he will... Uh, I could have him buff, but I think I'm gonna have him... Oh, yeah, I'll have him buff. So that ups his armor. Right. Now she can heal, which is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty awesome. But she can also cast spells from back here, so... Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Assuming she's and pretty good against undead, too. You would think, but... Um, <laughs> I think that all the things you get, the... Um, the traits that you get are it's random. And some of them okay. are, like, bonuses against undead and stuff, whereas, you know, I don't know that she <laughs> has any of those, so... I'll look at her when, when it's her turn next. But yeah, so he is, um, you know, if the light is above a certain thing, he gets stress resistance, but he also has a torn rotator cuff. Well, good for him. <laughs> he's apparently a pitcher. Well, he's not gonna melee attacks. So. He's, uh, he shouldn't be. If he, if he is, I'm doing something wrong, so... <laughs> Um, yeah. So I'm not sure. What should I do here? Should I just blow up a couple guys? And this just blinds two guys, so they won't attack this turn, which is kind of nice. I don't do that. Yeah. These guys so they can't. The only guy you have blinded. Yeah. So we'll see. 
And uh, then I can shoot a play grenade at him too. I'm not blinded. The animation is just so cool. It is very, yeah, it's, it's a really neat looking game. And she is going to just do what she does so well. Oh, I was going to check her stats out and I forgot. Oh well. Okay. I failed you all. Alright. Now he's got this grape shot, which you can see links all, so I can attack all the first three dudes here, which is kind of like Confidence cool. surges as the enemy crumbles. Do some area. Nice. Oh, what? How do they get back there? Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. That's just not right. They can attack. That's the thing I don't know, and I don't know if there's a way to check. I haven't been able to figure it out if you can see the monster's powers. I haven't been able to find a way to to check that like in oh. the works then too. Right, right. Yeah, because it'd be nice to know can that last dude attack, you know, my third guy or whatever. But I'm gonna have her just keep healing now, so she'll heal herself up. Kind of selfish. That's the way she is. Um, <laughs> she's gonna buff the highwayman. As the fiend falls, oh, my crusader guy is just on fire muscles. here. So does individual kills matter at all? Like, one character getting more kills than another? Or does that not really have an effect? Um... Boy, Brad, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna quiz you on everything. I'm actually dying to get this myself. I, I don't, you know, it's... Play. Um... You do jump levels after each thing, but I guess I haven't... I haven't paid enough attention to know if that's... Um, I'm gonna just pass. Um, oh, I missed. I hate when I miss. I haven't Time paid enough attention to learn, like, is my Crusader getting more experience than the other guys, or do they all just get the same amount at the end? Ooh, someone got a Book of Rage, which is nice. I've never seen that before. The stress uh, increase if they kill more guys, or I don't know. Stress seems to increase all the time, and sometimes <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Um, right. Usually when they get hit is the worst, and um, and so then you, you've cleared this hallway basically. Now you're in this yep. room. Yep. So now I'm in this room. And there's nothing here. It's just a dead, empty room. There's nothing there. You go back through that hallway. Is it clear? It's it's clear, and it's kind of cool okay. too. You'll notice like all the art and everything is basically. Oh, I take that back. There was a trap I didn't see last time. <laughs> so I just hit a trap that I didn't catch the last time I went through here, and that bumped up his stress pretty good too. So uh, that guy's gonna go crazy. <laughs> he's a he's the highway man. This is one thing I can't figure out too, which would be nice is. Um, you can't heal outside of combat. It would be really nice if I could just start healing that guy right now, <laughs> but you you can't. You have you can only do your powers really during combat. Nice. It'd be Probably cheap, but yeah. <laughs> okay, this sarcophagus looks scary. And the person who you you can click on whoever you want to open it. So um, I'll just have this guy do it. At opening traps or anything, or? Well, I would assume so, but I. I mean, I'm guessing this highwayman is kind of like a rogue, but... Type character, right. Yeah, but, I mean, he sets off every darn trap out there, so I'll have him open <laughs> this and see. Oh, good. He didn't get hurt. Okay. And, yeah. Oh, but now we're, <laughs> we're getting hungry, so... So I have to eat. Food. Yeah, so luckily I had food to eat. Let's reach in here. I'm sure it's got to be good, right? <laughs> All right, That's gifts are inside. Only yeah, so this is all just flow. money. Just smash stuff. So do you have to, in. do you have to sell each of those for money, or See, like, just cash out? It uh, cashes out at the end of the adventure. Okay. It'll just cash out. But like, we just walked, and I don't know. You can see like <laughs> there's like a halo of spikes around your guy's head, and so my highwayman right. just got two more stress. But I don't like. I don't know why. Like. So I don't know if there's just a 
You know, if it's just random, like there's just die rolls. I don't know. I, I really don't. Like it just happens where all of a sudden you'll see that symbol above their heads showing stress. And I mean, I'd be stressed, but, you know, I don't know. So I don't know if. Yeah, go ahead. You can. You did heal a little bit. But yeah, and you can, you can, yes, you can just eat food and heal too, yeah, but every now and then it asks you for where it says you're starving, so I don't know if that's just a random encounter thing that pops up every now and then, that's kind of what I, it feels like, because that's happened two or three times to me, where, um, oh, great, it'll, yeah, pop up and suddenly say, oh, you need to, Okay, so this is uh, this hand of light she has is great. It, it does plus fifteen percent damage against undead, which is great. But I don't know that I like her being in the front row. How did she get in the front? I think the guy had a power that pulled her there. You, the the monsters have powers that'll push and pull your guys around in party order, which um, is okay. very annoying. But it's I guess it make you know makes it fun too that they can. So I have a choice. I could either move and get her out of the front row or I can attack and I'm of course going to attack because why would I <laughs> and now she's game, so. that's right <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, these guys are dodging everything and that's it the thing is there's no die rolls you don't see any of the die rolls or anything so it's kind of a like well why am I missing all this stuff? I don't know. Just just luck, I guess. I have no idea. There you go. Killed one of them. And then he got that little halo around his head, which without the spikes, which means his stress went down, which is nice. So yeah, when you do something good... Maybe, maybe your highwayman has some sort of uh, modifier that's making him stress out for certain things or something. He, I'll, I'll check when it's his turn. Remind me to check when it's his turn, so I can... Okay, I will I'm gonna... Oh, she missed. What? What? Oh my gosh. She needs to run away. She's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna turn have... your healer into a tank? I guess that's one way to... I'm gonna move it. my crusader to the front, but they're gonna keep attacking her. Right. She's not that far back, so... Oh man, I'm taking a pounding here. I gotta move. I'm gonna move back so I can heal. I gotta be able to heal. So you have All to be my back a certain distance. Normally. Yeah, you have to be back a, a certain distance to do it. So, um, boy, I can blind, but I can only blind one guy. Can you just blast him? I can disorient these two guys, but they dodged. Of course they dodged. Why wouldn't they? Oh, gosh. Alright, let's just bonk guys' heads. Yeah, that was good. Alright. So let's see the highway man. He's got Yeah, his He's a known cheat. <laughs> and um huh. he's got a twenty percent stress resistance, minus twenty percent if mo yeah, no, it doesn't seem huh. like it. So that's I, yeah, I, I don't, don't know. Maybe I don't know. Weird. Yeah, it's just one of those. Maybe because he hit a trap, now he's like afraid of walking. I that could be. Yeah, got it. You know, or do they just constantly rolling dice for the guys, and if they roll something, they... oh boy. So there is my highwayman is at death door. No, this is that. So he's at zero hit points, but he's not dead. But okay. he has a chance to die when he, if he gets hit again. So. I'm gonna yeah. heal him though. Yeah, so I healed him up, so he's good. But they're gonna keep attacking so, him. Right. So as you um, become more crazy as your guys becoming, does he will he attack your own party members? Is that a possibility? I haven't or? seen him. I haven't seen them attack their own party members yet. But I've seen their their. Uh, I have a character who's a masochist. <laughs> And <laughs> I've had, like, when my healer tries to heal him, he refuses the heal and won't allow a heal, which wastes her turn <laughs> and uh, <laughs> is annoying. And um, I've seen, like, uh, feared uh, people who are afraid 
like not attack. They'll cower and they'll move to the back of the group instead of staying at the front. So there's stuff like that. So, but I have not seen, um, you know, a guy just plus flat out attack his his own party members. But like I said, I've only I haven't played much either. I mean, I'm only on like week four, I think, is as far as I've gotten. So, yeah, you know, here, let's give him some extra. Nice. Yeah, except, man, they're going right after my hive oh, man. No, they just don't care about him. Hold fast. And so the stress is going crazy on everybody. It's like, so I think like they get stressed when their party members get hit or when they get hit. Ooh, that's right. nice. Alright, we'll take oh, that. Nice. But now I this can't heal, so I can have him eat a little success. food. So see, that does heal him a little bit. Very little. <laughs> but, and you need it for it. And the other thing which I found out that's really annoying is that this, um, your inventory down in the lower right there has, I think, what is it, to 16 slots? And that's all the slots you get. So oh, wow. you will be, like, having to drop things. And, of course, like... You know, you'll out, if you're like me, you'll drop your food and your torches and stuff first, and you won't drop any loot, right? You'll drop all the stuff you actually need. <laughs> but and now it does sometimes does this where it says scouting, and then it'll show you what you can expect in the hallways down in the mini map. There, okay. it'll show you what you can see, and I don't know why it does that. I don't know if that's a power of the highwayman that he does that, or a power of one of the other characters, but. Um, mm. It just does that every now and then, or maybe it's just for cleaning out a room. I'm not sure the reason why that it it does that. I'm not going to complain, though, because it's kind of nice. Um, <laughs> right. So there's a trap right there on the floor. You can see it highlighted. Now I can see if I can disarm it. I'll use my highwayman. And he did disarm it, which is... That's pretty cool. And you know, you get nothing... There's some books. I'll have my alchemist guy look at that. And it does something. It does last gas. We got another... He had another um, attribute on him. So his speed goes up. Great. That's what a wizard needs is more speed. <laughs> hey, he's not a wizard. Or uh, whatever he is. Uh, what is he? A plague doctor. Yeah. They do have some cool... Uh, they have some... See... He just lost stress for what? I don't know why. <laughs> My Crusader just had stress. I don't. They do have some cool classes though. I've only seen like six of them so far. So I don't, you know, I don't know how many are there. I have no idea. There could be. Does he have like fifty or, you know, planned <laughs> or? But they're cool ones like so uh, lepers and um. Forget. There's another one that was. They're they're not like your classic, you know, wizard rogue cleric. They all have some kind of right. twist to them, which is pretty neat. Right. So this one, so this room like over here. Yeah, yeah, familiar, but just a little differences. Little just a little, little, right. Yeah. So here's a... The cabinet's locked, but luckily I have a skeleton key, so I'm going to take a key and put it in there. And we got well, some loot. And there's measure. a monster inside. Oh. Awarded to the brave and you. And the, yeah, the, the cabinet the is a monster and it eats you. He got stressed for that, even though he just unlocked it and we got loot, he had stress. Why and wait. Dude, that trap was there. Oh good, another one, let me guess. It's locked and I only had one key, so... Do I... I can, but then I think... Well, I'll try Let me use a shovel. I smashed the cabinet. I did. Very nice. I think I smashed the chest once and it said you destroyed everything inside. So I was like, oh, that's good. That's great. <laughs> <clears throat> you're saying you're running out you gotta use a torch I know but the loot you know I want to get that good loot but I might die so it might not be worth the loot so maybe I'll use a torch I'll well, see the, the light up on the top and the, the combat does get the easier um, the more light there is so the now is the torch clear. is at full so the combat should be a little bit easier than it was. 
I'm guessing that means that they will miss more and you will hit more, but I haven't done any scientific tests on this. To... <laughs> but I, so far, so good. I, I like what I'm seeing so far. And they're only doing like two damage, which is always good. It's always good. Goblet. See, they all have like these. Oh man, that was 15 stress. That was a lot. <laughs> all the monsters' attacks are like named stuff, so that's why it makes me think like you should be able to go see like what their attacks do or something, but I just can't figure it out. Can you right click or mouse over or anything? Uh, no. Well, you can go <laughs> hover over the monsters, but it just shows you like their resistance and stuff. And Okay. So. Or maybe you're supposed to, like, try to remember these things, which, you know, would be, like, a game rate <laughs> thing. But it seems like so much work, so... I it does can't attack. Like it does, I know. I'm just gonna play grenade this guy. So they can do some damage. And the other cool thing that I have not seen yet, but just from the images and like the trailers and everything it looks like um oh it does show someone just said that the if you hover over the bar at the top it shows the oh, okay. what the light is doing for you so, so i did not know that so yeah so, so the light is giving you scouting i guess scouting so that must be why i scouted so well when i got through that room and i could see all what was going on and Plus you get the surprise monsters, which is always a good thing. Gets you a free round of attack, so... Right. <clears throat> Alright, have at ye. Look at this guy, it's Crusaders. I'm gonna rename him something really cool, I'm keeping him. He's my hero. <laughs> nice. So you can rename him? Uh... You can, yes. You can rename your guys. So you can have that XCOM of like, oh, Dave versus the Dyer. Yeah. The entire Cummings He's family will go through the... Can be failed. <laughs> they can be beaten. See, yeah, uh, so this is a, pe a pendant that I just found, and it says Hellion only, so there must be a class called a Hellion uh, that can wear that pendant that I have not is seen. Is there some sort so. of shared uh, cash that you can... Um... In town, I believe you can... Yeah, there's like a treasure chest that keeps all your trinkets in it. Um, so yeah, there's there's a stash in town. But here I've run into the... Uh, my inventory's full, so I need to drop something. So... Um, I'm going to drop a shovel. I don't need a shovel. Shovels are for losers. Famous last words. So... Yeah, shovel. Well, oh, I still got a shovel. They only let you put 1,500 gold in a slot, so... Um... What can I drop? What do you think? Do I need... I don't need this anti-venom. I've not been poisoned. Yeah, okay. I'll drop that. Yeah. I'm not afraid of poison. Alright. Alright, and we got some loot. We got some more... Some more bus, which... Yeah, isn't that great? Alright, so, so that's that. Basically. Those, yeah, and those are what you use to like upgrade your town. Basically, those are the the currency that you use to upgrade the stagecoach or the. Oh, okay. You can upgrade all the buildings. All the buildings have tons of levels, and um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. All right, so final hallway. I guess now two more. Is it? Yeah, there's one more after this. I think so. Is there something red is that a trap? Oh. Oh. Well, apparently it's a uh, combat. <laughs> <laughs> Monster should have been surprised. Yeah, it's not looking good, and there's a lot of them, and there's going to be a fight in this next room, too, I think. And, uh, but I'm not afraid. Okay. I wonder if I should I aim am. or if I should just shoot. I'm just going to shoot. All right. See, now I'm doing what you did, and you 
you said that that got you killed, so maybe I should, but <laughs> I know. I'm not good at these kind of games. Well you're talking to the guy who still hasn't finished FTL, so I still haven't <laughs> won that game. I have game. not finished it either. I fought the boss a couple times. Uh, yeah, I lose to the boss. I can't beat him. And it's not even close. It's not like, uh, oh, I almost got him that time. No, it's not even remotely close. Alright, shoot. Oh, are you kidding me? You suck. I hate that heavy man, though. He's my most hated character. <laughs> This Crusader, I'm telling you, he was. The Crusader's just running through guys like crazy. He needs somebody to do something. He doesn't miss. Oh, the Highwayman. Terrible. <laughs> well, he's stressed out. He's almost dead. Uh, well, that's what I kind of want to see is I uh, show people what happens when you your stress gets too high. <laughs> well, you're doing a good job. I'm trying. <laughs> it's all for the people, right? You can't attack way back there. As oh no. Ebbs. Oh, oh terrible. Oh no. Of <laughs> not good. Reveal That's not good at all. Oh. Party white. She can heal. Party she can white. heal herself. There. She'll heal herself. She's fine. She has four hit points. That's plenty. That's plenty. Yeah, just so we don't hit for eight again. <laughs> Such a what is he doing at with his crossbow? He's not even yeah, he's got like a he's got like a bayonet. Well, if he's in the front row, he can't shoot. So okay, they're they're in order of one through four too. So she's gonna heal herself again because that's kind of clear she is. That's probably a good. Choice. It's one of those like, you know you're on an airplane and they're like heal yourself with your mask first because <laughs> before you yeah before you strap on your kids. Yeah. Oh, I don't have room for these heads. It'd be really good if I... Like, this gives me more damage. I wonder if I can give this to my... Yeah, I can give that to my Crusader. So he has a higher damage now, but... So I got a little loot there. We'll take it. Alright. Cool. Oh man, that's not even a room. How sad is that? Volumes are desiccated and unremarkable. Thank you. Alright, one more room and then we can go back. Oh, come on. These are cultists, too, these guys. Oof. Oh, they're not even undead? Uh, this guy is. The front guy and the guy in the back are undead, but the two middle ones are not. They're like necromancers or something. This guy oh, with the nice. claws, the second guy, has got those claws. Man, he hits really hard, too. So this could be the end. I'm just going to tell you right now. This is, this could be... Oh, they're all surprised, though, so I do get an extra round. <laughs> She's going to he start to heal, heal, heal. Well, I do feel like a true stream of Darkest Dungeon should end in a full party wipe. It probably... You're, you're right. I'd like to say that I orchestrated <laughs> it that way, but that's just the way the game works. Killed the claws guy before he has a chance to do anything. Um, I can try to bonk him, but he, I missed. I oh, hate the gosh. crusader. I hate him. Now you hate him. Wait, I thought you liked oh. him. What happened? Well, then they miss though, and then I hate them. Oh, okay. It's like my, it's like my children. You know. <laughs> oh, is that? As soon as they. Yeah, when they, when they don't. Yeah, when they don't. You know, shovel the driveway, then I don't like him anymore, but... <laughs> it's all about me, Brad. That is a way to live life. That's right. I, just, I actually changed my life philosophy today. I now have... <laughs> uh, two monitors. Such a terrible okay. assault. Wow. I have to so I have my laptop and two monitors coming off of it, and I've decided to say... I'm gonna put two monitors off of it. Do I That's need right. two monitors? No. Uh, maybe. I don't know. 
you, you do. I'm asking why. I'm asking why not. Give me a good reason why I shouldn't have two monitors. <laughs> Plus my laptop screen. Oh, you have so you have three monitors. Oh, so it's well, that's three monitors, yes. that's a little over. The, I'm just gonna say that's a little over the top. I think you. Okay, okay, but if you're computer, you're, you're, you're tempting the, the gods there. Just have monitors lying around. <laughs> You're tempting the office fates there. Yeah. Look at this. I'm gonna pull this out. Look at this. They they're afraid of me. These guys are all afraid of me. Look at that. Killed two with one shot. Oh, wow. oh man, is my favorite I guy. I might. Wow. This was not like a boss in the last room. Well, that's there will be. As victories mount, oh, so, so I can take, two will I can take yeah, all. Yeah. Do I need a shovel? I don't need a shovel. I'll leave the shovel here. All right. So the last room. Oh yeah, there's a fight in that last room. That's. So oh, and there's a trap. a trap. I just walked right into it too, and I saw it on the ground. <sighs> you gotta go slow. Do you want to eat all your food and try and like? This, um, these alchemy tables, oh, an accident occurs, oh boy. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what happened to him. I don't know. It didn't say, but I'm guessing it was a ton of stress, so. I have just enough health or food to not starve. Alright, let's see what the boss <laughs> is here. Alright. Oh, that's not a boss, these are just... It's just a regular combat. Alright, you got this. this. I'm gonna blaze the torch like like a, a yeah. blazing yeah, this is board. gravy. This is, I'm, I'm embarrassed for the hey, game for doing miss. this to me. <laughs> so are these encounters randomized to some extent? I think so, I yeah. It seems, I mean, it seems like it pulls from a certain abyss. class of monster kind of thing, but then it'll... Yeah, yeah the, the dungeons and stuff are all random. So. Oh boy, I got two guys at death fight. door. And you've got yeah, I got. Dudes. Can you go back and do some missions like the yes. Missions? Yeah, you can go back and run through all the easy levels again. Yeah, and you, you you're gonna have to because to get rid of stress, these guys have to go to like the sanitarium or the abbey or whatever, and then they're they're out and you can't put them in a party, so you have to send other guys for that next trip. So, so to get rid of stress, they have to take at least one uh, journey down into the dungeons off. Oh boy, that guy in the back is not doing good. Mortality oh, clarifies she's not doing real good either. Strike. Oh boy. Uh oh, here she goes. She just hit stress. Now she's fearful. That's great. Fear and frailty finally claim. Uh, oh, he's afflicted, so this is everyone's going everyone, everything's going terrible. Uh oh, did we lose Brad? Right, I can't hear Brad anymore, so I don't know if anyone can hear him anymore. Close in. Yeah, this isn't the going very well. Of conspiracy. Um, she needs to kill. He really needs to heal, but he can't, so.
devastating blow. Hello, Brad. Are you there? Are you there? So, all I gotta do is kill this guy. Alright, I'm gonna reset my mic here, guys. Hold on one second. Quickly the tide turns. The mind cannot hope to withstand such an assault. on supplies. Room by room, hall by hall, we reclaim what is ours. The poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. <laughs> <laughs> 